Hi, I'm Miss Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library. And today for our sim activity, I am going to show you guys a simple experiment, a simple project involving gummy bears. So this is illustrating osmosis. And this is what you're gonna need. So I just tossed in a stick. It is a craft stick. Um, I've used this one for a couple things, but never in anything liquid. So it, it can be reused, you just don't, you want it to be clean. Um, so a craft stick, I'm gonna use this to stir with. You could also use a spoon, it doesn't have to be craft stick. Uh, you need two cups of water. They do not have to be very full, they just have to be full enough to cover your gummy bear. So I filled mine a little bit less than half full. And then you're going to need some salt, it's just some table salt will do. You could, if you wanted to do a third cup, you could also use sugar and do the same thing that we're gonna do with the salt, but with sugar. And that would add another layer to this experiment, but I am at the library and I don't have any sugar. I do have salt. I got it from the coffee station. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, but yeah, so you need some salt and then you need some gummy bears. I have Haribo gummy bears. You don't have to have any particular brand, any brand of gummy will do. It doesn't even have to be a bear. It could be a worm or some other gummy creature, a uh, fish. I don't know. Um, it can be any sort of gummy, but you need it to be a gummy and you need enough water to cover it and enough space in your cup that it'll fit and just kind of sit there at the bottom. So you don't want to have to like stuff it up the sides or anything. So, but I've got Haribo because those are my favorite and I want to be able to eat them afterwards because we only need two gummies. Um, and so the rest of these you get to eat. So to start, we're going to not start with our gummies. We're going to set those aside. We are going to start with our water and our salt. So we're going to leave one cup, just water. Nothing else in that but tap water. If you really wanted to, to do this experiment and add another layer, you could do a cup of tap water and a cup of distilled water. So distilled water has had the purities, it's been filtered, um, it's, it's a purer form of water than you'd get in tap water which might have some minerals in it. So you could do a cup of distilled water, a cup of tap water, a cup of salt water, and a cup of sugar water and make this an actual experiment rather than a project. So the difference between a project and an experiment is a project, we know the outcome. We're just doing it to see. It's like a demonstration, it's cool, but we know what's gonna happen. Whereas a, an experiment, we don't necessarily know the outcome. And we might have a guess, we might make a hypothesis about that, but we're gonna have to test it and see. So we're gonna add some salt to this. We're gonna make a salt water. I'm just gonna dump some in. I'm not measuring it at all. If you really wanted to be more scientific, you'd be more precise. You'd measure and make sure you have a concentrate of water and salt, or salt in water. So this is going to illustrate osmosis. We're going to put our gummy bears in these solutions, and one of them, I'm not gonna tell you which, I'm gonna let you guess based on the information I give you and your own project. One of them will swell up because it will undergo osmosis and the other will not. And by the time we get to the end of this, you'll see, because I have to show you. So we have our salt water. It will go a little bit more clear once the water dissolves. And now we add our gummy bears. So osmosis, Osmosis is the process where molecules in a solvent, a solvent is just a liquid or something that can dissolve something else. So like water is a solvent because I can dissolve salt into it. So osmosis is a process where the molecules of a solvent will pass through a semi-permeable membrane, in this case, the outside of our gummy bear, we're gonna do both red, I think. The outside of our gummy bear, that's our semi-permeable membrane. And what happens is the less concentrated solution will go towards and into the more concentrated solution. So this will result in a balance between the two on either side of the membrane. It'll be the same. 
So, what do you think will happen? One of these is going to get bigger, one is not. But what will happen when these gummy bears, it's going to swell up, it's going to increase in size, and what will happen is the less concentrated liquid will travel to the inside of the gummy bear because the gummy bear is more concentrated than one of these liquids because it is concentrated gelatin. It's gelatin that's been cooked and dried up and concentrated down into this little gummy bear guy. And so one of these two waters is going to penetrate that permeable membrane through osmosis and swell up our gummy bear. And we're gonna find out which one. So I'm gonna drop in a gummy bear in here. I'm gonna use the other end of my stick that didn't have salt on it. I'm gonna push him towards the middle and then we're gonna put a gummy bear here into the salt water. And we're gonna leave him. We're gonna leave him for a while. It takes a while. It can take upwards of 24 hours. You might see some results in an hour or two. Um, or it could take a while. Um, I've left this project sometimes for a day or two to really get results. So we'll just see how long this takes and I'll be back with you guys in a while. Okay, so it has been about four hours and I'm ready to show you guys the results of my project here. Um, you can definitely wait longer than this, but I have already seen a change in my gummy bear. So I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. But if you wait, the longer you wait, the more dramatic your results are. So I definitely re recommend waiting longer. So this right here, I've split up my paper towel so that I have um, a place to display my results. This is an original gummy bear. I went ahead and saved a gummy bear from the um, original that I haven't done anything to. It's just straight out of the package. And that way we have something that we can use as a comparison for our soaked gummies. So I'm going to start, since it's furthest away from me, I'm gonna start and pull out this saltwater gummy. So I'm just gonna use a spoon and I'm going to pull out our little gummy bear who has been soaking in salt water and we're gonna set him right there. And we're gonna make some observations. So our saltwater gummy bear is, if I bring my original over, you guys can see our saltwater gummy bear is a little bit bigger. He's not a lot a bit bigger. He's a little bit bigger than our original. So there some osmosis has happened even though it was in salt water, which I'm expecting not as much. I think the water is going to be bigger. I'm going to move this over so you guys can see. That our salt water on the right there is a little bit bigger. And now let's look at our water one. Because if, if this worked the way I was expecting it to, our water one should be a lot bigger. Turn them this way so I can plop them down in the right direction. So this one is our water gummy bear and he's definitely a lot bigger than our original, but he's also a lot bigger than the salt water. He's about twice as big as our salt water gummy bear. So why? And I'll, let me pull up here. I'll put the original right there and then we'll get a view of both of them. So those are our gummy bears. Original is in the middle. On the right we have salt water and on the left we have just regular water. So why did that happen? Why is our regular water so much bigger than our salt water? Well, osmosis moves the water or the liquid or the molecules through the membrane, in this case the outside of our gummy bear, into the more concentrated area so that it equals out. So our water is just plain water. There's not really much concentration, if any, in our water. There might be a little because there's probably some minerals in there, but there's not really much concentration in our water. Whereas our gummy bears are super concentrated because it's a concentrate of gelatin. So they are super duper concentrated. So naturally, the water is going to move into the gummy bear through osmosis so that it can equal itself out. 
our saltwater gummy bear didn't get as big because there was salt in the water. So it was a more concentrated solution in our salt water than in our regular water. And that is why our saltwater gummy bear is not as big as our regular water gummy bear. Now, if I had hyper concentrated our salt water solution, if I'd done a really, really good job and maybe measured it out and made sure all that salt dissolved in that water, it's possible that we would have seen no change. But just even with the base water, you can see the difference here. So this is our results for today. But I would like to see what you guys come up with. Do you use another solution? Maybe you use a sugar water and a salt water and a regular water and a distilled water. I would like to see that done. Um, you can play with this. You can do all sorts of different things. You could try juice. There's a lot of options that you have to turn this into an experiment and see like which liquid is going to get you the most osmosis into your gummy bear. Thank you. I hope you have fun. I hope you play around with this project and experiment with it. See you next time.